Happy Friday. Today is Friday, December the 9th, 2022, and today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 146, 5 through 10, Ruth 4, 13 through 17, and then 2 Peter 3, 11 through 18. And I'm going to keep up with 2 Peter following up on yesterday's text um, and talk about more about waiting on Christ um, and what it means to be found by him at peace. That's what uh, the advice that Peter is giving his audience here today. Um, he references Paul. Um, he kind of says, you know, Paul's a little confusing to read. Don't let that mess you up and don't twist his words. Um, but he's talking to this group of people um, that are waiting on the coming of Christ. Um, like we talked about yesterday, they're really kind of, uh, they're tensed up about it because, you know, he hasn't shown up yet. And uh, so he says, be found by him at peace. Uh, and the word there is, Irene, which I'm sure I just butchered the pronunciation of that. Um, in Irene, so in in peace, right? Uh, at peace. Um, so cool. What does that mean? Um, you know, and a lot of times we talk about peace a lot at this time of year, at Advent year. Matter of fact, if you go to a church where they do the Advent wreath and they have like, they do the thing where they have like, like three purple candles and one pink candle, right? These candles represent different things, so like hope and peace and joy and love. Um, and so last week actually would have been peace. Some churches do faith, stands for faith, but eh, not not terribly off here, especially if you hear me out. But the candle we lit on last Sunday for the second week should have been peace. Um, and, you know, this time we think about peace on earth, goodwill to men, um, and so, so what does that mean to be found at peace? Um, does it mean like, you know, we're not found at war with each other? Um, we're just getting along with everyone? Um, yeah, maybe so. But like I said, you know, remember Peter's talking to a people who are waiting on God and they've been waiting through some pretty troubling times. They're waiting on Jesus to return. Things hadn't been going so well for them. Um, and so they really kind of stressed out about it, wondering what was wrong. Uh, were they wrong? Um, had God abandoned them? Is there something wrong with them? I mean, like, are they, maybe God didn't really want to save them. And, you know, so what's what's the deal? So that's the kind of dis-ease that they have. And Peter's telling them to to be patient and to be found at peace. The peace here that that's being talked about is um, the peace that comes with assurance, right? It's it's the peace that comes with knowing that you have been saved, right? So there's this guy Thayer, um, who uh, if you look in your pastor's office, you'll probably find a copy of the Thayer. It may never have been opened, but it's probably there. Um, and he says, and in, in this big, by the way, his definition for this word. And this is not even the most thorough one that you could probably find. But he says one of the definitions he offers for this Greek word, erene, is the tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ and so fearing nothing from God and content with its earthly lot of whatsoever sort that is. And he directly points at this text from Peter. Um, and, and so that's the piece that Peter's talking about. Yeah, things aren't normal. Things aren't going the way that you had hoped. And, and they, you know, we're still waiting on Christ. And this doesn't look like the kingdom that we've been promised. But take faith in God. Be found at peace, right? Um, it means to be found at peace in their faith, faith in the promise of God. Faith that they are they are at rest in the peace that comes with that understanding, right? That's the kind of peace he's talking about. You can leave off the anxiety because you have put your faith in God. You have put your faith in Christ. And it's like I said, you know, we lit a candle on last Sunday that's named peace. And it leads to the candle this Sunday that we light that'll be named joy. And so, you know... He's telling them, rest in peace, which actually kind of gives a whole new uh, flavor to the phrase rest in peace, doesn't it? You know, we see that on tombstones and headstones and things like that. We think about it with people that are dead. We don't really think about what we're saying when we tell somebody who has died to rest in peace. 
Um, no, you know, it's, it's not because we're afraid that they're going to show up on an episode of Ghost Hunters. It's, it's because, and maybe we've lost the sense, not maybe I'm pretty sure we have, it's this idea that the dead in Christ rest in the peace of his promises. The dead at Christ can be will be found at peace or in peace because of the one in whom they put their faith. Anyway, that's the DVR for today. Get out, enjoy the day, and we'll see you on Monday. Happy Advent. Boop.